What's up everybody? Welcome to General Hospital MV, my GH after show. Let's get right into it. Alright, let's kick things off by talking about the Cyrus storyline. Now, as you guys know, Taggart is very much alive and well, and he was in Port Charles with the intention of killing Cyrus, but Jordan managed to talk him out of it and told him to leave Port Charles. However, he didn't leave Port Charles before seeing Julian holding a gun on Nell on the docks, and naturally he assumes that that's a bad thing, and tackles Julian and gets shot for his trouble, thus giving Nell time to get away. Damn it, Taggart! Jason Morgan actually stumbled onto him on the docks, and to my surprise, apparently, Sonny and Jason had no idea that Taggart was alive. I was actually sure they were in on it. Needless to say, Jason took Taggart to a safe house and called Epiphany to cater to him, and it didn't take Jason very long to realize that Epiphany was definitely in on faking Taggart's death. I actually really enjoyed the Epiphany and Jason scenes. She talked about how she has her secrets and her reasons for doing what she did, and I want it to lead into something, but I feel like because it's Epiphany, it probably won't. Man, I mean, listen, Sonia Eddy has been on the show for like 15 years, and I think she's had like three whole stories, and that girl is a gem! She is like a national treasure on the show at this point. Give her some story, you guys! Meanwhile, when it comes to Curtis and Jordan's relationship, it seems like the writing is on the wall that maybe it's about to come to an end sooner rather than later. I mean, if I were to make a drinking game out of the amount of times that Curtis told Portia that secrets were a deal breaker in a relationship, I would be hella tipsy at this point. Now as you guys know, Jordan has not told Curtis that Taggart is alive, and we all know that Curtis not being able to save Taggart's life is really doing a number on him, so I really think that once he finds out the truth, their relationship is through, and honestly, I'm kind of okay with it. I kind of like Curtis and Portia a little bit, even though I find Portia just a little bit sketchy, and honestly, all signs point to the fact that there is a good, good chance that Trina is actually Curtis's uh, daughter. And honestly, that would be kind of a really good story to tell. Trina obviously hates Curtis right now, so that would be a fun relationship to show on screen and see how it will evolve over the years. And it would create some drama for Taggart and Portia when she finds out that he's actually alive as well. Speaking of Trina, she actually confessed to Jocelyn that she and Cameron kissed once, and the confrontation was almost as awkward as the actual kiss itself. Seems like trouble is in paradise for the uh, trio. Or is it a quad? Where is Dev? Alright, moving on, let's talk about Dante Falconeri. Now, Dante is still having nightmares about killing Lulu and completing the mission, and Dante's doctor told him that his superiors are putting pressure on him helping Dante so that they can send Dante on a new mission that involves someone he's close to. Dante's first thought was Sunny, but honestly, I think that's kind of too obvious. What do you guys think? Realistically, it could be a number of things. Maybe it's about Peter since he's Lulu's boss, or maybe it's about Morgan who may be very much alive and into some sketchy things. You never know. But let me know your theories in the comments below. Now, Dante's mother Olivia has been by Ned's side the whole time ever since Brooklyn got her throat slashed by Nell, and I have to give mad props to Wally Kurth who is absolutely slaying his scenes this week. He's doing such a wonderful job portraying a father who is completely distraught over the fact that his daughter's last memories of him may be of him disowning her and throwing her out of the house. Absolutely a wonderful job, Wally. Well done. And thankfully for Ned, Brooklyn did wake up from her surgery. Brooklyn even managed to nod her head yes to Sunny when he confronted her and asked if it was Nell that slashed her throat. The doctors have been telling Brooklyn that she cannot speak or it'll damage her vocal cords even more so, and I'm pretty sure that's going to happen because she used her voice to tell Michael that Nell has a GPS tracker on Wiley, which sent him in her path, which is a good thing, so she's a hero, but obviously this is probably the way that they're going to have Brooklyn never sing on the show again. R.I.P. Singing Brooklyn. Even when you hold me tight. Now, Nell has been on the run, or on the road, I should say, and she gets turned around, but a good Samaritan points her in the right direction of getting her where she needs to go. Then, two seconds later, she gets the notification on her phone that she just helped a mad woman escape with a child. So, 
she called the police, but obviously, Michael's already on the road looking for her, so it didn't really matter so much. Thank God that Nell was too stupid to remove that tracker from Wiley's toy. Michael managed to find them in a cabin in the woods near the mountains, and Nell makes a run for it without Wiley, and Michael and Wiley reunite, I think. I, I mean, it was pretty awkward. The bed kind of looked like it had a sock underneath the blanket that they were trying to pass that off as a baby. I was honestly laughing so hard. I could not take it seriously. I get that babies can't be on the set because of COVID, but use something more realistic. It looked like there was nothing under that blanket but a sock. Like, it was just... It was so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, Carly and Jack showed up at the cabin as well, and Carly thought it would be a good idea to go after Nell and chase her into the woods, and she manages to track her down, and I almost thought that Carly almost got through to Nell, but then nope, and she attacked Carly, and then ran off, and nearly ran off a cliff. Carly actually managed to grab her to try and rescue her, but then Nell fell anyway. Do I think she's dead? Hell no. But for some reason, despite all the experience Carly and Jax have of people dying and coming back to life, Jax thinks it is a good idea to not mention that Nell went over the cliff and that Carly tried to save her because then it would look like murder. Jax, did you learn absolutely nothing over the last time Carly, Sonny, and Jason tried to cover something up? And what happened? Michael went to jail, not for the crime that he committed, but because of the fact that Carly, Sonny, and Jason covered it up, and the judge wanted to use Michael as an example. And you know damn well that's gonna happen to Carly in a few months when Nell shows up alive again. Anyway, in a shocking turn of events, the police officer that took Carly's statement was Valerie Spencer. Valerie Spencer is still in Port Charles, you guys. It's been over a year since we've seen her, I think, but she's there taking a statement from Carly, I was just like, mind blown. I can't believe Valerie is back. I think some people on message boards actually forgot that Valerie was recasted or just thought that this was a different recast, but it's the same recast that we saw before. It's just that her hair is a little bit longer now. I guess it has been over a year, but damn guys, use your eyes, man. It's the same girl. Anyway, some of you are probably wondering where was Willow in all this? Willow was actually at home going completely stir crazy. Thankfully, Nina showed up to keep her company. Please, for the love of God, please, please just make Willow Nina's daughter. Please just do it. I do not want Nina to have Nell as a daughter. And by the way, this is why I know that Nell is not dead, because they need to tell that story because Nina is unaware that Nell has the other half of her necklace. Alright, but that about sums up this week's General Hospital. What did you guys think of the episodes this week? Let me know in the comments below, and if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, and I will catch you guys next week. Peace out.